Hi children, Hola, welcome to Apay ICT Pantheon. Today we are going to start grade 7 ICT lesson 2, Operating System. And this is the third video of this lesson. Teacher has uploaded three video, two videos related to this lesson. So please watch those two videos before watch this one. So today we are moved to files and folder. And uh, before to the today's lesson, we have to complete the workbook activity. In the last video, in the second video, I told you to do the activity 2.2 and I will discuss, teacher will discuss the lesson, discuss this activity before the, uh, before the next video. So, shall we move to the activity, activity 2.1. The question is, what is computer storage device? So, I think you have done the exercise. So, please take a red pen and uh, make the correct mark. So, computer is a device. Device that are used to store data, information and computer programs. Devices that are used to store data, information and computer programs. That is called as storage device. Second question. What are the things that you that can be stored in a computer storage device? Mono the computer storage device seeker. Achanu Pange Gabada Karana Pulwa. Monada. Documents, voice and sound, video and animations, photos, word present software, any software. And the operating system. You can also store operating system in a storage device like a, uh, like internal hard disk or hard disk. And the third question. Magnetic media devices, optical media devices, solid state media devices. Question is are the three categories of computer storage devices. Above categorization is based on which factor? In what is the factor we use to divide the devices? The factor is manufacturing technology. Based on the manufacturing technology, we have divided the storage devices into three parts as magnetic, optical and solid state. I think you have remembered this part. Fourth question. Consider the following storage devices. Hard disk, external hard disk, magnetic tape, CD, DVD and SIM. Correctly insert the above devices into following table. They have given the storage devices and we have to put the put these storage devices into relevant category magnetic media optical media and solid state media hard disk external hard disk and magnetic tape is under the magnetic media devices and the zip file also then dvd and the CD is under the optical media device and there is no any device that we can categorize to the solid state media device. Okay, let's move to today's lesson. Today we are going to learn about file and fold. I think you have remembered this part because you have learned this in grade 6 also. Files and folder. Now you know what are the files. The files mean any song, video, drama, picture, or photo, document, anything within the computer we can identify as a file. And the folder, folder mean Folder is like a basket. Folder can a basket. So, can you see this picture? Yes, in this picture there are fruits. Many fruits. that And they are in uh, separate positions. Then, they are in separate places. 
and in the second picture you can see a basket and we have put all the separate fruits into a one basket api me ek tan tan wala tiyana fruits okkoma aragena eka basket ekakata daala tiyana this is a very good example to describe file and folder files mean the things that are that we save within the computer and folder is used to uh, place the files so we will move to the lesson see this is the icon of a folder here you can identify some of the folders and some of the file custom file of template not resume scan docs those are folders then the birthday invites budget cover letters taxes those are known as files see we have uh, talk about this example see this in this one there is a doc as myself we can cut we can name it as a file any document any letter we can uh, identify it as, as a file and you can put this file into my files folder what is a file file is uh, anything that is saved in the computer such as a letter a song or a photo file ya kiyanne pute file is anything file ya ona ama deya wenna puluwa that is saved in the computer oya ga parigane ke suraksha karala thiyena surakshitawa thiyena ona ama deya api file ekak kiyala handunna udaharanayak widiyata letter songs photos videos uh, oya ada ganna puluwa and then we are going to learn about file name and the file extension a file contains two part file name and file extension i think you are right in the not while watching this video so file and folders with in a file we are going to divide into two parts as file name and file extension think you are creating a document using microsoft office word and you are i think you are writing about myself and save as kamal only you gave the name as kamal and but it is a word document so by the computer it automatically generate the file extension as docx oya pute word processing software ayaka king word letter ekak tan document alekana nirmane karana oya age gena saha you are oya ek सेव करना कमाल किया तो एक कमाल के लोग सेव करा हमें ऑटोमेटिकली में कंप्यूटर के इन दिनों एक एक फाइल एक्सटेंशन ने का डीओसीएक्स किया मैं डीओसीएक्स इमने तम फाइल एक्सटेंशन ने का बोन में दिखो वे ना सेनो या बाविता करने सॉफ्टवेयर आए का अनु इट इज यूनिक टू द सॉफ्टवेयर नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न where files are stored the place where files are stored is a folder folders are used to keep files in order Fi folders api pavichchi karanne nai used to keep files in order ara api katha karapu gonu word documents wenna puluwa folders wenna pul me songs wenna pulang musical videos wenna pulang dancing videos wenna pulang games wenna pulang me onama deyak pute in order pili welakata tiya ganna thama api folders pavichchi karan for example think there is a table and within the table uh, different types of books are spread here and there and it's like a mess ekenika mess ekak wage so what you are doing is you are taking some baskets and name as name the basket as school books class books story books likewise and you put the relevant books into relevant folder then it is a it is very easy to uh, take back the books from the folders likewise within the computer files are spread here and there uh, 
but they are not in order like musical videos are here and they are in desktop and downloads and here and there music videos school documents so what you can do is you can make folders so golanda pulang putih folders adan make folders and put the relevant file into relevant folders adala gonu adala gonu bahalum tulata daanna puluwang i think uh, there is a folder as dance in videos so you can put all the dance in videos in the computer to that folder and make a doc make a folder as school notes and use and put all the school notes into that school note folder we have talk this uh, talk about this uh, example folders are used to store files that are attached to each other that are related to each other it helps to keep files in order and to retrieve them easily and fast uh, what's the meaning it helps to keep files in order ek udaw karana folders udaw karana pute gonu pili vela thaba ganna saha retrieve them when retrieve them easily and fast ah uh, e gonu navata laba ganna itama ikmani pas saha pahasuwen navata laba ganna ಉಪಕಾರಿ ಒನ್ ಫೋಲ್ಡರ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮೆನಿ ಸಬ್ ಫೋಲ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಕ ಗೊನು ಮಕ್ ತುಲ ಪುತ್ತೆ ತಾವಾದ ಗೊನು ಎಕ್ಕ ಗೊನು ಬಹಾಲು ಮಕ್ ತುಲ ತಾವಾದ ಗೊನು ಬಹಾಲು ಗುಡಕ್ ತೇನ್ನ ಪುಲ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ದಾಯಸ್ ಫೋಲ್ಡರ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಫೋಲ್ಡರ್ ಆಸ್ grade 6 grade 7 grade 8 grade 9 and in the grade 9 for grade 6 uh, folder you can make folders as uh, science maths ict singhala like us so it is in the one folder there are many sub folder school note folder within the folder there are many folders as school uh, grade 6 grade 7 grade 8 and the grade 8 grade 6 folder is divided within the grade 6 folder there are many sub folders as their subject ict english math science likewise so now we are going to create a folder so how we can create a folder first step click the right button of the mouse on the desktop mouse ekata gi me desktop ekata giya oyage mouse eke right button eka eka para click click the right mouse right button of the mouse on the desktop go to new folder go to new then folder give a name to a created folder okay when you are name in a folder you cannot use semicolon and arrow mark you cannot use semicolon and arrow mark to name the folder so shall we make a folder so this is my desktop and i am going to make a folder first right click and go to new and create a folder so this is my folder and i am naming it as school notes this is my folder and i am going to and see this is my school note folder then within this school note folder i am going to make sub folders me school note kiyana folder ekak athile puthe mama anu gonu bahalum sakas karanna hadanne ekata right click then new folder 
name it as grade 6. Again, I am making a folder, new folder, grade 7. Okay. I am going to the folder grade 7. So, you are now in the grade school notes folder, grade 7 folder and I am making a new folder as ICT as English like this. Now you are in the ICT folder. Now you know how to create a folder. Now we are going to learn about how to save files in folders. We are going to save folders in folders. We are going to save files in folders. First step is you have to make any creation. Letter, picture, paint, anything you can do using a computer. Then click on a file and go to save or save as. Then select the location to store the file. You have to select the folder where you want to uh, store it. It means save the file. Then give a proper name and click the save button. I will show you using a paint. Okay. Now I am going to make a paint. So you know how to get the paint software. Go to the search bar and click and uh, search by typing paint. Okay, there is a paint software. Go to the paint software and make any creation. I'm going to make a square and color the square. Okay, now I go to the file save button. Click the save button and choose the file that choose the folder i have created i have created the uh, school note folder grade 7 folder ict folder lesson 2 and give a name uh, ict and give a proper name and click save button that's it now you can find that create the create your creation from my school folder grade 7 folder ict folder lesson 2 folder and you can see the created picture ict created paint okay we have created the folder uh, save the file within the folder then how to open a created folder already i have teach you what you have to do is go to the folder and select the folder then double click the left button double click the left button you can see the, the left button in the screen so you have you can double click the left button then copy and move in a folder. You can copy and you can move the folder to another place. For that we use first thing is copy and paste. You can make a copy of that folder. Select the folder to be copied. Oyata copy karan noni folder ek hari file leka hari. Copy karan. Then give the copy command to be copied. It was a ka copy kiyana command ikka deela copy karana pulwaan uh, you can uh, um, click the right button of the mouse and select the copy button if not him net now you can the mouse ikka right button ikka click kella copy kiyana command ikka select karana him net now you can press the control c button ikka press kella control c button ikka press kella copy kiyana command ikka la baadhen kella ngat copy kalla vitraak madhi what you have to do you have to paste the copied file or folder. 
So select the location to be copied and then give the paste command. Copy karan noni location ne katagiya give the paste command. Paste karan apute what is the shortcut we use? Is a control V. You can press the control V to copy the file or a folder. So let's do it. Okay. Here I am going to copy the copy this folder, grade 6 folder. So what I can do is select the folder, then right click the folder and give the copy command. Then I am going to paste. Right click the folder. Give the copy command. See. The copy of the grade 6 folder is in school note folder. Uh, so I will show you using the shortcut key. Select the folder. Press ctrl C. Then again pen ctrl V. See. Another copy is in the school note folder so i will show you how to this is how to copy a folder and me me thana putte api folder ekak copy karanne me vidiyata mai api file ekak copy karanne so see i'm going to copy this file click the select the file right click the file do the copy command and Again, give the paste command. See, another copy has created. Okay. Let's move to cut and paste. Cut and paste. Copy and paste mean make a copy. Cut mean we can remove, we can move the folder to another place. So, select the file or a folder to be cut and paste. Then use the cut command. Cut command. What is the shortcut key? Control plus X. Control plus X. Then use the previous step to paste. Can okay. you have to use the paste command to paste? If not, you can use the shortcut key. Control V. I'll show you. Here we have created ah, this. Uh, I, we have created a copy of this folder no, file. No? So I'm going to cut this file. So select the file. Go to the cop cut command. Here you can see the cut command. Cut. See. Then I'm going to grade 6 English. Then I have, I want to paste the file. So, right click and do the paste. Now, in grade 6, 7 ICT, the copy of the file is not in there. And I have moved it to the English folder. Here, you can see. It. Already, you can do this process by using the shortcut key for cut command shortcut key is control x and the first command is control plus v okay now we know how to uh, create a folder save the file in the folder and also we know how to cut and paste and copy and paste then we are going to learn about how to change the Name of the folder, also file. We have a hard file folder and copy 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 How to change the name of the folder or a file? First step is select the folder, then click the right button of the mouse and select the rename command. Type the required name. Adala nama type karan See how to do the rename. Okay, I'll show you how to do the rename. Let's rename this file first. Okay. Good. Right click. Select the file. Right click the file. Then go to rename. 
give a proper name likewise i want to change the uh, folder name also select the folder right click and rename as See, now the folder name is change. Then we are going to learn about how to delete the folder or a file. Delete in a folder or a file. Delete in a folder or a file. We can do this uh, according to two methods. Delete We can do it temporarily and we can do the delete as permanently apata temporarily delete karanna puluwam permanently delete karanna puluwam you can delete it temporarily and also you can delete the file or a folder permanently let okay let's learn how to delete temporarily temporarily means to the thava kalika select the folder that need to be deleted press the delete button on the keyboard oyata delete karanna on folder ka select karan. select the folder that need to be deleted then press the delete button on the keyboard you can find the delete button on your keyboard so then select the folder and then press the delete button okay Important thing is, if you delete a folder that is in an internal location such as in a hard disk, is it, it is deleted temporarily. That means it can be retrieved when needed. Okay, when you delete it temporarily, you can retrieve when you need it. Because we have deleted the file temporarily. If you delete a folder that is in the external storage such as a pen drive, it is permanently deleted. That cannot be retrieved again. Okay. You have plugged a pen drive to a computer. pen drive to a computer plug And you select the folder and press the delete button. Then it is permanently deleted because you have deleted the folder that is in an external storage device. Bahira Achayan Upang Eka Tiyan Device Tiyan Folder Eka Tamay Puttiyo Ya Delete Karan. Ehema Delete Kalot Eka Animarem Permanent Delete Eka Kwena. Habayo Ya Internal Storage Eka Eka Internal Hard Disk Eka Tiyan Eka Delete Button Eka Power Chikala Delete Kalot Eka Temporary Delete Eka Vijet Tamay Api Salakan. I think you have write in the note while watching the video. How to delete permanently? Ah, to delete a file or a per folder permanently, press shift and delete key together. First you have to select the folder and then press shift key and delete key from your keyboard. At once, put shift delete press karan. Then you will get a dialog box and uh, give the enter the yes key and a yes command enter the yes command so to delete you have to, to temporarily delete you have to press the delete button for the permanent delete you have to press shift plus delete button okay then we are going to learn about characteristics of file and a folder characteristics of file and a folder Select the relevant file or a folder and when then press the right button, then you get the uh, properties menu. So, select any folder or a file, then click right mouse and then you will get uh, this type of menu. This type of menu. You will get uh, this type of menu. Then go to the properties. 
then you will take the property menu properties menu properties dialog box in the properties dialog box you can find many things related to your file or folder properties කියන dialog box එකේ පුතේ ඔයාට හඳුන ගන්න පුළුවන් ඔයා open කරපු කියන ඔයා තෝරපු ගොනුව හෝ ගොනු බහාලුමට අදාළ විස්තර කීපයක් අපි බලමු මොනවද කියලා let's learn okay you can find the document name here first you can find the document name then the file type file type this is a word document so microsoft word document then you can see the extension also api katha kara gonuwe diguwa kiyala you can see the extension also dot docx also you can see the location where is this file located location එක බලා ගන්න පුළුවන් ඔයා මේ file එක කොතනද පුතේ save කරලා තියෙන්නේ then you can find the size of the file or a folder ඔයාගේ මේ ගොනුව හෝ ගොනු බහාලුම කොච්චර නම් ඉඩ ප්‍රමාණයක් ගන්නවද කොච්චර නම් capacity එකක් ධාරිතාවක් තියෙනවද size එක බලා ගන්න පුළුවන් then we can find the created date modified date and last access date ඒ කියන්නේ පුතේ ඔයා මේ ගොනුව හැදුවේ කවද්ද created date එක ඒ හදපු ගොනුව save කරලා තියලා edit කරේ වෙනස් කරේ කවදද කියලා අපිට modified date එකෙන් බලන්න පුළුවන් then access date ඔයා මේ ගොනුව අවසානයට පාවිච්චි කරපු දවසත් අපිට ඔන්න බලා ගන්න පුළුවන් then uh, here you can Uh, find the characteristic of a file and a folder in this one also i have explain what are the characteristic it mean properties of the file or a folder here i have listed few of the properties file type gonuwe warge location of the file tan gonuwe sthapita sthane size of the file ගොනුවේ ප්‍රමාණය date of created නිර්මාණය කරපු දිනය date of modified නවීකරණය කරපු දිනය මිට අමතරව තවත් ටිකක් ටීචර් කියලා දුන්න i have told many thing except these five characters okay so this is the end of the uh, operating system lesson okay let's do the activity take out your exercise book and we will move to the exercise okay we will move to the exercise activity uh, you have done the activity 2.2 before now you have to do the activity 2.3 okay please fo uh, pause the video and do the activity 2.3 and then you can uh, watch the video again okay first question list files and folders separately in the computer screen shown in the following diagram there is a diagram there is a screen of the monitor and there are many files and folders what you have to do is you have to separate files and folders let's do it yes folders what are the folders that you can see in this screen yes school images office budget scan document science day video those are the folders we will see what are the files there is a word document as agenda and there is a image as class document If your answers are correct, please put correct mark. Activity two point four. Consider the following files and write them under the suitable folder to store. There are, they have given few files and we have to save the files in a related folders. First folder is term test. so we can put the term test mark list of student in a class file to 
this folder. Then the songs. We can put national anthem songs to songs file. Video of dra school drama which participated in all all island drama competition into drama video and for a MS Word folder we can put agenda of the sport meet. So this is the end of your second lesson operating system and please share this video with your school friends and if you have any question or a suggestion please comment in the comment section and I will meet you with the third with third lesson of your ICT subject. We will meet again. Until then, goodbye all of you.